Aries, good morning. Welcome to In Spiritual Truro. My name is Jenny, and I appreciate you being here. Um, I'm a fellow Aries. I have Aries, Sun, and Moon, and I think something else. Oh, a Mars, and I think there's even something else. So I'm like full of Aries. So, <laughs> uh, the good and the bad. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and get your November reading um, with my little companion, Wishbone, and her little pet spider. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and get your energy. I am going to use. Um, these chakra wisdom oracle deck um and we're going to get your energy the energy of someone around you for the month of november uh possible outcome and the advice again take what resonates leave what doesn't it's not going to resonate for everyone um i just channel through spirit through the tarot cards and oracle cards to see what the energy's like for you at this time um the thing about energy is it's all around us and can be changed so if it's something that you don't like you can be prepared to nip it in the bud right as it starts or to shift it depending on you your energy so let's go ahead and see what's going on okay first off i'd like to say thank you spirit for your wisdom and guidance and um advice here to get us through our life towards our higher mission and our higher vibration okay so that being said let's go ahead and jump in okay so aries what this also could be aries sun moon and rising i forgot to say that so aries Spirit, what do you want to bring out for Aries for November 2021? What collective are you connecting to at this time? What's going on? Okay, so we have the root chakra of perfection. So are you striving for perfection? Is this an issue in your life, perfection? Is someone around you expecting you to be perfect, perfect, perfection? And it's just impossible to meet their expectations? Um, I'm really getting that vibe for some of you Aries here because, I mean, yeah, Aries likes things to be perfect, but they also don't give a shit kind of, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you Aries know what I'm talking about, you know, you're like, hey, I'm doing me, you know, like it or don't, you know, that's how we are. So I'm really getting this vibe. And, uh, we're, we are harder on ourselves. We want to be perfect, but if everybody else wants to, then we kind of like nip it in the bud or, or um, you know stop it right there because we've kind of our rebels as well but i'm really getting this um perfection is someone is expecting too much of you and it's putting a lot of pressure on you this like i said is a root chakra so this is get, get grounding yourself and being balanced there might there's a need to do that you know stay grounded if somebody's expecting you to do too much i know like in the medical field that is a definite they always want you to take on more and more and more um and yet they're going to pick on you if something gets left behind but you know it's almost it's it's impossible you know so let's go ahead and see what else is going on growth yeah whatever the situation is is causing you to grow though you're kind of growing out of this like you know you might be growing away from this person this job that wants you to be perfect because you're like i can't live up to your expectations and you know i need to be good enough myself so this is the heart chakra the situation also could be causing you to grow more realizing that you deserve more or um will never live up to their expectations and you're not supposed to so let's say somebody wanting you to be perfect and you just can yeah because if not it's just going to lead to insecurity here and i really get that maybe it has or it had had in the past and you you're growing from that and you're like you know it's not me it's this person expects too much and then we have abundance yeah and now you're just going to go for what makes you happy your abundance leaving it behind say because this is just like toxic energy and it's just hurting you emotionally right i'm just going to look at this yeah see and there's a lot of growth here growing now yeah no matter what you do you can't please somebody see trying to hand this stuff to them and they're like no 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 mm -mm. <laughs> so let's get some tarot cards on this so perfection perfection king of pentacles yeah staying stable and grounded and you do have the um root chakra here so you know this is what you need to do instead of trying to be perfect be perfectly imperfect be yourself okay that's the best way to be you're going that's the way you're going to be content and happy and get your abundance so staying stable working towards your material abundance how about this growth here page of wands yeah so this growth is what's going to help you grow and transform 
is to go towards get the messages of towards what makes you, you passionate and creative or in going towards that that's what's going to bring you abundance not what everybody else will expect you to do how about this insecurity please oh yeah see insecurity it's time to nip that in the bud it's time to transform it's time to let that go you can't be insecure because everybody else wants you to live up to their expectations it's never going to happen it's your life right you're here for a different purpose than someone else we can't be all alike and like i said there's some people you're just never going to make happy no matter what you do how about this abundance I'm also getting too if you if you feel like somebody did something that wasn't quite right or not good um, or went down the wrong path don't take it personally don't beat yourself up okay don't have that guilt going on because we can only do so much we can be supportive to people but we can't live their life okay we can't make them change they have to do that okay and then for this abundance you have the higher fence so you know tapping into that spiritual wisdom the higher self um, um, knowledge to get this abundance okay Aries so let's go ahead and see about a person surrounding you it doesn't have to be a lover it could be it could be anybody around you for the month of November what's their energy like Aries okay so they have rejection ah okay so this is the crown chakra so this is their energy so they might be giving off a vibe if you don't do things the way I want you to turn the back on you I'm just gonna turn my back on you uh, so it could be leaving you feeling rejected um, which could bring out a little insecurity but you're walking I, I really get you're walking away from that though you know you, I'm not gonna please you no matter what and actually you could be rejecting this person now as well like yeah I'm done with that you know they might be just half ass coming around whatever and you're just saying I'm nope I deserve a lot more than that you're not making me happy it's, it's, I'm really getting this 180 here like you know before it was like maybe you were trying to get their attention or please them and they would be in it and then they turn their back on you and go along with other people and then like half-assed you know and you know you get to the point it's like you know why am i like stressing or insecure about this when i'm not even happy in that situation i'm always miserable so then they come back around and you're like nope no more i'm done you don't make me happy <laughs> so now the shoes on the other foot let's see what else is coming up for this person ah so see they have self-worth problems as well this is the sacral chakra yeah they have abandonment issues as well and they're playing that game that is so weird that they're playing that game or turning their back on people or doing 180s or like i'll come around when i need you kind of thing they have a lot of self-worth issues and people that would do that would have that right if you could treat somebody like that there's definitely a self-worth issue let's see what else is coming up passion um i think their passion is waning i really think they don't know what their passion is um because if they can like turn their back on people one minute they're kind of just those people that go along with what seems popular at the moment kind of thing or what makes them happy at the moment but they don't they're they're not around for the people that have been there for them kind of um they kind of like lost their spark a little bit kind of and it's very interesting this person's holding a book and reading to a person hmm. i really get areas that they might think they have their shit together and the bee's knees or whatever you want to call it but actually you've taught them a lot of things but they won't admit it and they've kind of treated you like shit You're taking advantage of your big heart and open heart aries because you were like a really good friend with them so let's see what else is coming up with this person impartiality yeah i really get they are like very impartial and it's crown chakra again isn't that one funny it's two sacral chakras and two crown chakras yeah how they feel inside in their head their higher self that they aren't really tapping into because they're in a lower vibration here it's just not meeting it's very interesting so let's go ahead and get um some cards on this person for rejection let's see let's come up with this rejection for this person, November 2021. 
Okay, yeah. Judgment. I really see them as a very judgmental person. They try not to act like they are, but they are. Uh, and they need some new skills. They need to gain some new skills. They're very judgmental. Like, the, the, you see those people that, like, preach, like, oh, you shouldn't do that to me or this or that. But they're, they're doing it to other people. Very hypocritical. I'm really getting that with this person. Very hypocritical. Let's see about this self-worth. They need some new skills and to look at take a look at themselves because the one thing that they're saying about other people is what they're doing okay so now we have the queen of swords self-worth they need to um stop wearing a mask here see the truth live their truth because they're not they're putting on a mask they're trying to be something they're not or putting on a facade kind of all right, so we got the Three of Pentacles. They need to uh, work better with others. And then we have the Queen of Pentacles, which is two queens here. Interesting. They need to uh, ground themselves and become more stable. Because I really, they, I think they're putting on this appearance that they're stable. But, you know, once you get to know them, they're, they're completely different. They're like putting on a show, wearing a mask. All right, let's see about this passion. Passion has, hmm. So, passion, I really think that maybe they appeared to be a person that you were harmonious with, but then once you got to know them, they were completely different. Yeah, they need to go within and really take a look at themselves. Because they're, they're wearing a mask. They're not living the true, authentic self, life. Behind closed doors is completely different. And then we have impartiality. Let's see what's coming up with that. And it's interesting they have these two bucks. I really bu buckets. I really think that that's how they're like. Like they show one way and they're inside. When you get to really know them, they're like this, or they're different with different people. Don't you hate those kind of people? I hate to say that. I mean, not hate them, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, now we have the nine of swords. This is really keeping them anxious and up at night. It's really something that keeps them stressed out. But they're not like appearing to be. They could even have some kind of addictions to cover that up. Six of Pentacles, yeah, they need to balance. They need to balance things out. Um, they kind of like take, take, take from other people, one person, and then on other people they might be very giving, but somebody else they're not. It's very interesting. They seem like a lost kind of soul or something. Let's see if there's anything else. Yeah, yeah. See, they're missing out on good opportunities. They're missing out on their Ten of Cups because they're playing this game. And I don't even know if they really realize they're doing it. I think it's coming from a fear-based or insecure kind of mode. All right, so let's go ahead and get possible outcome for you in this situation, Aries. I'm always impressed about how these cards just tell different scenarios. And you know, you know you're not making it up because it's like coming up like, who would ever think about that? I mean, I've had it happen in my life, but you know what I'm saying? Ten of Cups. So, Aries, the possible outcome is you're going to go towards your Ten of Cups and leave this shit behind. This person's so wishy-washy or don't respect you. It's, life's too short. <laughs> you know? Yeah, you're going to persevere. You know, you might have got some wounds and battle scars from it, but you're persevering. You're getting through it. Another lesson learned. Another notch on your belt, Aries. I think notch on your belt might be something like, but you know what I mean. Gained a little more wisdom from it. You might have a scar from it, but you're doing well. It's like, ugh, another one. Yeah. Don't lose any sleepless nights from this. Don't stay anxious about it. It's done. <laughs> it's time for you to walk away. You deserve more than that, Aries. Let this person get their shit together. And don't take any feeling of guilt from it either. Yeah. Yeah. Just persevering for your future. That's what you need to do. You know, take your wounds and your anxiety, put it to the side, and move forward towards your kind of ten of cups. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get some advice. Hi, Aries. This is your card, Aries. It's time to go towards that new journey. It's time to start a new journey. Take another risk. Let this heartbreak fall away. This hurt that this person has done to you. Yep. Gaining the truth. Of the situation and taking this new journey and letting that bullshit and pain and hurt that they call you go all right Aries so that's pretty pretty
pretty basic, you know. It's another one that's happened again. <laughs> Unless it's been here a while. We're going to get a couple of these. It seems to be. All right, let's get a couple of these for your ears for November. It's this Soul Activation Oracle deck. Pride, yeah. Throat Chakra, Crystal Blue, Adventuring. Pride, yeah. You know, let the pride fall away. It's nothing personal. Um, you know, ego can be a good thing sometimes, but it also can um, cause a lot of stress. So it's time to, you know, just say, you know what? Another one lost. No big deal. I'm just going to take it as a lesson. This person has their own issues to deal with and move forward. You know, also stand in your pride. You know, you have the right to stick up for yourself and set boundaries. You do not deserve that. Yep. Heart chakra. It's time to make your heart happy. And this is the crystal lepidite, lepidolite. So, yep. Stay open hearted. Don't let this put chain and add a chain around your heart, okay? It's time to go out and have fun. Laughter is the best medicine. All that stuff. Anything else, please? Yep. Another heart chakra. It's time to live in harmony. You know, we have the little butterfly trying to live zen, trans, transform. Go towards your, your destiny, your passions, your mission. This was just another lesson learned. So that is your message, Aries. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful weekend and a beautiful November. Take care. Bye.